What's going on, Guitar World? This is Zach Myers from Shinedown. Uh, we are on the Stimulate This Tour currently. Um, I'm going to show you bits and pieces of my rig today. I would show you the whole thing, but uh, my friend Fran will be here forever. So, um, start at the top, uh, two Samson wirelesses. And I've, I've been using Samson for four or five years now. Um, work great. These are actually the old units. I'm getting new ones in soon. Um, Multi-selector, uh, my ground control from Digital Music Corp, Voodoo Labs. Um, this is my pedal rack. I do everything on a MIDI. Um, and the one slot is Ibanez, old, I think this is a 78 TS9 Tube Screamer. Compression sustainer, uh, Delta Lab stereo chorus, Hyperphase, Digitech Hyperphase, Bob Bradshaw uh, CAE Boost Overdrive. The next drawer is a Fox Rocks Octron and a Line 6 multi delay. Um, also have the front power conditioners and the voltage regulator in here. And my tech Galen has a, um, a MIDI unit too that he can switch if he, if he so needs. The same one that's out on my pedal board. Uh, next is the amps. The Diesel Herbert, which I've been using, uh, which we used on most of the record. Um, my favorite amp that I own probably. And then for clean, I use the high watt. HH100. Uh, great clean sound. Uh, breaks up a little bit, but we're, we're kind of working on that. But yeah, this is, uh, this is bits and pieces of the rig. I'm going to go through some of the guitars now. Um, this is my Silver Burst uh, PRS, which is actually currently being made into a signature model. Shh. Tell anybody. Um, it's going to be an SE version of this. Um, pretty much the same deal. It's going to have a couple of different things that I don't want to talk about because I want it to be a surprise. Um, yeah, this is a Silver Burst a triple humbucker that they made for me. Um, I've been with PRS. I use PRS and Taylor Guitars. I've been with PRS for 10 years. So um, they have taken care of me my whole life. They said that I've been playing guitar. Um, you got the Silver Burst, three humbuckers. I do the switch up here, the toggle. Um, two volume, two tone. Um, volume's up top so I can do the toggle thing. Uh, it's got the skeleton birds on it. And then. Michael Myers uh, truss rod cover, which all of my guitars have, and then it's got the clear knobs as well, which all of my guitars have. Huge vintage guitar guy. I probably got 130, 140 something guitars, but these are the ones that I play on the road. This has been my main guitar for the last nine, ten years. Uh, I actually bought this guitar. PRS did not give me this guitar. Um, it's pretty beat up. It's uh, this is my number one. It's a blue SC250. Um, I've had this guitar forever. Same thing with the clear knobs. It's got specks and freckles from me hitting it with my rings, and it's all chewed up and beat up. And see the number one up there. Um, yeah, this thing's been uh, beat up pretty bad. It's got nicks all over it. Um, this is my favorite guitar, though. Every time I try to, uh, yeah, this is my rest in peace Michael Jackson thing. Um, Every time I've tried to put this guitar away, I can never do it. Um, it stays with me out here. I've tried to put it away, and it usually mostly will go away for one or two shows, and it, it always comes back. So this is my favorite guitar um, that I own, actually, and I own a bunch of really cool vintage pieces, but uh, this is my favorite guitar. This is my blue SC250. Um, this is the, uh, the out of the PRS realm that I play. Uh, this is a 72 Fender Thinline reissue. I actually have a real 72 thin line and a real 69 thin line at home that I used to have out here. Um, love this guitar. I actually bought this guitar at a Memorial Day sale at Guitar Center for $300. Um, probably one of the best sounding guitars I own other than the, uh, the Silver PRS. Um, it's got the humbuckers. It's dirt. I mean, it's I got dirt in it that I can't get off. The neck's all chewed up. Um, back of the neck. It's been, it's been, uh, it's been played to death. All, all the dirt and the, you can get all the, every piece of it. Um, this is one of my favorite guitars. I use this on uh, 45 and save me. Uh, this is another, this is just like the blue one. Every time I try to uh, send it home, I can't do it. So, love this guitar. And this guitar will probably be out no matter what. PRS always screams at me, but still, I, I have to play this guitar. Um, this is my uh, Taylor Acoustic. Um, my favorite acoustics. I've been playing Taylor now for a long time. Uh, they've really taken care of me. Uh, this thing actually is a replacement for my Grand Symphony, which I have the Taylor, two Taylor Grand Symphonies out here. And um, 
forgot which airline we flew to Europe, but they cracked both of my acoustic guitars straight from here all the way down, all the way up the neck. So Taylor just got those back today, and uh, they sent out these. This is actually one of my favorite guitars. This thing sounds really good. Eric's got one over there, too, that he plays. Um, we both have them on Gracie's because I literally have one guitar here, and I'm playing this guitar, and my foot's on my pedal board, and I'm doing a million other things. So, yeah, this is a, I think this is a, a 916 or something like that, maybe. And, uh, yeah, love the maple uh, curling on the fretboard and the headstock and all that and the maple binding. But, uh, yeah, this is probably the best sounding acoustic guitar I own other than one that uh, Taylor made me for my birthday. So, thanks to Taylor for this thing. So thank you guys for checking out uh, my guitars and, and half of my rig. And uh, maybe next time I will be able to show you some of the pieces I have at home, the vintage stuff. And uh, appreciate it. Come check out uh, the Stimulate This Tour when we're headed your way, which I'm sure we are because we're out on this thing for like the next four months. So come check it out. Uh, thanks, Guitar World. Uh, we'll see you soon.